Hi everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we're going to take a look at the Generay T40D Trailblazer 40 watt LED light. This is a portable LED light that comes with a battery and charger. It runs on both AC and DC. It looks like it's going to be awesome, but we're going to unbox it, put it to the test, try it out and see how it performs. And here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the T40D Trailblazer. This is the Generay T40D Trailblazer portable 40 watt daylight LED monolight. We can see here it says this is a circular cob LED display. It has a circular cob LED display and it runs on a rechargeable MPF 7.4 volt battery or you can plug it in. It has a color balance of, uh, or a color temperature of 5600 Kelvin, so it's daylight, and it has 8010 lux at three feet. It's 99 TLCI for super uh, color rendering and 100% to 5% dimming and 1% increments. And it has a Bowens mount S type for accessory, uh, for, a, for an accessory mount on the front. So if you want to use this with the Bowens mount, you're good to go. All right, let's take a look around the box. Nothing really on that side, same stuff. Nothing but some branding on that side, nothing on that side, on that side, much of the same. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this, uh, get this bad boy opened up here and get the light out of it. And one of the first things that we can see already is that it has a little case, which I think is kind of awesome. So it's gonna come with this little, uh, this little carrying case that you can put it in, which I think is just super slick. So there we go. And we'll check out everything in it. We're gonna get a, uh, we're gonna get the user manual inside there. Um, we're gonna get a strap, I imagine, for this case here, since it has the, uh, the little, uh, um, hook things on the side there so you can hook up with the straps. We have a power cord there. We have a power brick to go in there. We also have a, um, what do you call it? A light stand adapter there so we can uh, hook that up. We have a charger for the battery, which means this might come with a battery and it does. Look at that. It actually comes with a battery. That is very, very cool there. So, all right, that's a, this is an MPF uh, 970 um, equivalent there. So very, very nice. This should run for a good long while on there. So, uh, and we have our infamous silica gel. We have to always mention the silica gel because they put it in there, it's ever present. And last but not least, we have the light itself. And that is really small. Let's get this, um, let's get this thing in out of the plastic if we can and get this, uh, get this going so all right let's set that over there we don't really need the case right now so we'll set that off to the side for just a moment and yeah that's the light look at that that is really pretty cool we can see uh, we can see the bones mount right here so that we can uh, we can hook this up if we need to um, we see on the side here is where we're gonna be able to put the battery or plug it in so if you want to plug it in you simply grab this plug it right there boom this part in here goes into the wall and you are good to go. We can also, again, like we said, we can do the battery, so we just simply grab that and um, oh, put this in the right direction, I think. Let's go, there we go, maybe it's that way, maybe it's this way, not sure. Well, we'll get it. Maybe I have to hook, maybe I have to, there's a little release button there should be somewhere on here, so, oh, there it is, it's right there. So you push that, guess that slides in, there we go. I guess you just had to push it in to lock it in, and there we go, so now I just push this, and unlock it comes right out so all right there we go and there is this led light uh led on the back there so you know what actually let's go ahead and put this battery in since we have it let's just go ahead and um lock it in and let's see if there's any juice in it so we'll hit the button there's a power button and then the dimmer right there so we'll just uh hit that and yeah look at that there is light in there so we can actually see uh we'll turn this all the way down there so we don't uh blast our eyeballs out but there we have it, we can see the LED light and actually the battery came full, which is really nice. And we can see here the percentage for both the battery and the dimming. So we can, uh, we can turn that up and as we turn it up, the light will get brighter and brighter and brighter and we can take that all the way up to 100%. So yeah, 
All right, that's very, very cool. And there's a little dial right there too. There's some, there's little lines right there that also give you a graphical display of the of the battery. I mean, of the um, of the light percentage as well. So, very, very cool. All right, I like that. And then the, and then you can just simply turn that to turn it off, and you're good to go. So. Now again, you can mount this onto, uh, onto a light stand and you have this right here that goes in. So um, this is going to go into, um, into right here and you just have to twist that out to make sure, let me make sure I get this, uh, make sure I get this in there, right? So we'll take this, we'll just simply grab this. We have to make sure it's all the way, can fit all the way in there, just like that. Put that on there and then boom, this goes right on to the light stand and we are good to go. Your uh, Bowens mount goes here for a softbox or something and you're ready to start using the light. So yeah, all right. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. It's, uh, it's an awesome looking light so far. I'm gonna go ahead and try this thing out, see how it performs and test it out. I have my normal lights over here. I have my main light, my kicker light. I think this light's actually probably gonna replace my kicker light because this one is probably gonna be a bit more powerful at uh, at 40 watts, I think it's gonna be a bit more powerful than my, uh, my 500 LED over there. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it performs. Okay, so I went ahead and I took everything out of here. Well, the things I needed and hooked up the lights. So I'm gonna set that off to the side and it's not on just yet, but I have this light on right here, which is my normal draw cast light. And this is my, just my normal kicker light. It's a 500 LED light. And we can see this thing right now is at full power. So this is sort of what you can expect. But let me go ahead and turn on the light that's just above it so that you can see it right there. So you can, uh, so you can get this thing, get a sense of how powerful this light really is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. And that is at 75%. So let's see what this is gonna look like here. And yeah. That is crazy, crazy bright. That's just way, way too bright. So this is, you know, that's the that's the uh, the full power on the drawcast light. This is the trailblazer light coming in right here, and it's just way too bright at 75%. So I'm gonna dial this way back and see what we can get. Hopefully, maybe around 25% should look good since this is way too bright at 75%. So let's try it out. Okay, so I have it at 25% right now. It's still pretty bright over here. I probably should just turn my, uh, my kicker light off right here so we can get an idea of what the light is gonna look like itself. So actually, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna turn my kicker light off and then we're gonna see what that looks like with just the trailblazer light alone. Okay, so I went ahead and turned off this kicker light right here. And as we can see, um, it's not filling in the amount of light that I had before because it's coming down at a, at a much more severe angle. I have, the, uh, I have the, the T40D up here at a much higher angle and I don't have it in a soft box. So it's not spreading the light as wide and as soft there. So um, one thing I can probably do is just bring it down a little bit and that would probably work. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try that again. I'm just gonna bring it down just a little bit and see if that helps fill it in a little bit when I get a little bit closer to me and I'll probably drop the power down just a little bit because it's still pretty hot. All right, well, what I did now, I just simply moved my old light out of the way and I put the trailblazer light, the T40D trailblazer, right where the old light was. Now, as we can see, it's right there, but it doesn't have any, uh, it doesn't have anything on. It doesn't have any diffusion on there at all. There is no uh, softbox, there's no grid, there's nothing on there. This is just the raw light as it is right there. And it's, it's, I mean, it's bright. It's super bright. I had to drop this down to 10% right now. As we can see, it's still too bright. My face over here is blown out. This is blown out. I think I'm gonna drop this down to like 5% and see what that looks like. Now, once I get some diffusion on this and get a soft box on there, it, it'll be able to, uh, it'll soften it up a little bit and it won't be so harsh. But right now it's just way too bright and way too harsh. But let's go ahead and uh, drop the power down a little bit and see if we can actually get the exposure right.
Okay, so this is at 5%, and as we can see, all of this still too bright. I mean, to be honest with you, this thing is just super, super powerful. So, I mean, if you're gonna use a light like this, the, the reality of it is, is that you're gonna need diffusion on it. You're gonna need to put a softbox on there or use an umbrella or something, because even at 5%, which is the absolute minimum that it can go, it's just simply too bright. So yeah, even, I mean, right now I'm, I'm, I mean, from this angle you can see because I'm highlighted over here, which actually looks nice. But when you come to the, my main angle, it's just too much, it's the light's just too bright. And you get as harsh, you get all the shadows over here that you don't normally get when you have a soft box on. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go get a soft box and, and a grid similar you know, to the one that I have for my regular LED light, except one that'll fit with a Bowens mount. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again and see how I like it. Because right now, I think it probably is gonna be awesome. I mean, I love the fact that it runs off battery power. It's super easy to set up and use. It's ultra lightweight. This is, thing is incredibly light so that you can take it anywhere with you. It comes with a little kit that you can put it in, a little pouch with everything you need so you can take this anywhere. I would really love to have probably two of these so I can have a portable kit that I can take with me anywhere that's going to be lightweight and just uh, simple and, and really sort of discreet that you, can, that you can set up and break down just in a matter of moments. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at the Genere Trailblazer T40D. And yeah, this is a fantastic light. It's super, super bright. It's super lightweight. As you can see, this thing weighs nothing. It's fantastic. It goes up from 5% to 100% and 1% increments. And it runns off of, uh, you know, off of AC and DC. So you can run this off of an M a Sony MPF style battery. So you can take this wherever you're going. And because it's so lightweight, you don't need any real heavy, you know, light stands. You don't need big C stands or anything. You can get a regular light stand, put it on there. And as long as it's not windy to blow the thing over, you're gonna be good to go. It's really fantastic. It does have a Bowens mount on there. It has an LCD screen on the back so that you can actually see what your uh, what your percentages are and your battery levels and all that. It is a 56K daylight uh, color temperature light and it's just really fantastic. And it's, I mean, it's fantastically bright. It really is. It's 40 watts, but it just seems really bright, especially when you have, don't have any diffusion on it. So. I'm gonna get a softbox for this and try it out and see what it looks like with a nice softbox and a grid on there. So we'll see how this all pans out. Now you can see here how nice and lit this is. There's not a bunch of shadows everywhere. It's just when you have nice diffusion, it just looks really good. You have nice even light without a bunch of harsh shadows and everything. And so, yeah, I'm gonna try this out. This wasn't, I don't wanna call this a review. It's really more of an unboxing and a first impressions type thing. Cause I really wanna get, uh, get this in a soft box and try it out and see what it's gonna look like. But so far, I'm very, very happy with it. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave links to this product down below. Cause you can actually buy this at B&H. That's where mine came from. So you can get it from B&H. Um, I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.